Okay, this is part two of the Living with a Stroke um, video. Um, everyday things are, for most people, that would be so simple to do, is uh, it can be extremely hard for a person with without the use of an arm to do, like. For instance, uh, making a bed, uh, putting fitted sheets on on a bed. Um, now I can do it, but it takes me a long time, and uh, it, it's a lot of hard work for me. Till I get done with that, I'm normally uh, pretty exhausted after. Uh, working on that. Um, other things is uh, even like uh, if I want to uh, uh, do some repairs or build something, um, I can't. I can't physically use a hammer and a nail. If I want to do something like that, I have to uh, make myself a little jig to hold the nail in place to be able to uh, start the nail. Um, I did notice that uh, Craftsman is now making something called an auto hammer thinking about picking one of those up one of these days after I get some more money uh, because I like to work you know I, I like to work with my hand uh, building stuff and everything I'm not good at it but I, I like doing it um, I like I like working doing woodwork and whatnot um, so uh, even unscrewing a uh, a bottle cap off of something like this can be a challenge at times because you can't just do this and turn it off most of the time. Uh, you have to actually hold it with your arm or. Uh, a lot of times I put it on my gut, and I put it between my stomach and uh, another object to do that, to hold it. But that's not always possible. Um, I, I am working a lot more with these uh, non-slip uh, surfaces that, like you get for your, like for in your kitchen cabinets they have this mat that rolls out and it, it's to hold stuff still um, I use that for a lot of stuff uh, that's a big help um, but yeah everyday little objects uh, putting socks and shoes on for instance have you ever tried that one handed Especially whenever the socks are just a little tight on you. Sometimes my feet are swollen, especially my right foot. My right foot, I think, is retaining water. My whole right leg, because it seems to be bigger than the other one right now. So i got to get that checked out. But uh, putting a sock on my left foot is easy. Uh, but putting it on my right foot that's a different story uh... you would think uh... doing that's real easy but if you don't have one hand you need to try that one sometime one handed and uh... i can't use uh... shoes that have laces i, I could i can but uh... i prefer not to 
um, because it's very difficult to tie a knot uh, one hand. Although I can do it, normally the, the knot's so tight it won't ever come out again. Now in the fire company I used to do different knots, but I can't do that. Uh, can't do that with shoes. The kind of knots I've done in the fire company I can't uh, put that over on the shoes. So I use Velcro shoes. Actually, right now the shoe I have right now doesn't even have Velcro on it. It's just you slip your foot into it and that's it. Which makes it real nice. Um, clipping your fingernails. Now that's a chore in itself. Uh, I, I normally have to let my fingernails grow uh, out to a certain length before I can cut them because I ha I can cut my own fingernails with my right hand on my right hand but uh, it is very very difficult and again I encourage you to try that yourself um, with my left hand a lot of times I have to have help with that because left arm is moving around and the fingers are moving and I have to have somebody actually hold my hand and my fingers straight while I cut them cut the nails um, so yeah that's a uh, feat in itself uh, then the toenails are uh, the toenails aren't too bad. I, I do that all myself. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing talking about this kind of stuff only because it's very personal. But I think it's important that, uh, that people know these things in case they would have a stroke and or worst case scenario if they would have uh, one of their arms amputated. Uh, and they won't know what to do. I, I'm trying to give my insight on uh, on what to do and how I survive on a daily basis. Um, a big part of my survival is uh, knowing is that I'm a Christian and uh doing the praying and all that stuff really helps uh helps me get through the day um uh I don't know what else to say so I guess I'll stop it there I could go on for hours and hours on this subject but I'm not going to but I wanted to bring this out and uh share some of my experiences and uh, hopefully you guys will never have to deal with this but uh, I know I have some friends that uh, may be watching this that uh, have limited use of their arms and uh, hopefully it helps them.